guys, it's Reagan, and welcome to the start of a new reading vlog. So, I am actually really looking forward to the TBR because honestly, it's a little lighthearted, it's very seasonally appropriate, and in general, I've just been craving some romance, so it's a win overall. Basically, the plan is to read two spooky romances over the course of this week, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I've been reading um, a lot of denser fantasy lately. I'm almost done with Rhythm of War, and I also read the entirety of the first book of Wheel of Time. So I just want something a little more fun, a little cute, and something that will get me kind of in the fall spirit. Um, so I feel like both these books are going to deliver in that way. So let's talk about the two books I want to read. So here they are. Let's chat about them. The first one is Paybacks a Witch by Lana Harper and this was a pre-order for me. This is basically about a girl going back to her hometown. She's a witch and she hasn't been back there in years. Since the breakup with her boyfriend after he cheated on her, her first night back she runs into the woman that her boyfriend cheated on her with unbeknownst to both women and they hatch a plan to get revenge and then I think they start liking each other. So I love the premise. I love that it's kind of revenge focused you know, spells gone wrong, all of that. And I just love a spooky small town setting. So I feel like I'm gonna love this. On top of that, I have another spooky small town setting book. And that is The X Hex by Aaron Sterling. And I think that is Rachel Hawkins' pen name, if I'm not mistaken, but similar story here. This is about a girl who casts a hex on her ex-boyfriend and she thinks it's harmless. Um, and then like seven or eight years later, they run into each other at their small town and apparently, that hex was not so harmless and also the town is now in danger. Just again, just lighthearted, cutesy, and fun. Both of them have to do with magic and witchery, and I just think it's going to be a grand old time. Oops. But anyway, that is my TBR for this video. I am, ooh, cozy light. I am just about done with work for today. Um, once I actually finish work, I need to start dinner. I'm making like a homemade bolognese, so it just needs a couple hours to cook. But whilst it's cooking, and once I kind of get that on the stove, I am going to start reading. I don't know which of the two books I'm going to start, but I really don't feel like I'm going to not be able to finish both of them. They're both not too long, and I just read romances really quickly. I'm just kind of looking to have a cozy, good romance filled time this week. The other thing I plan to watch a lot of this week outside of reading is Hometown Cha Cha Cha, which I'm obsessed with. It's just so heartwarming and I got clay into it too. Um, and we are on episode like nine, I want to say, or eight. Um, so I want to watch quite a few episodes of that this week as well. You know, I'm just like in the mood for love. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to put the murder and the politics and intrigue aside and you gotta read some love. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm looking forward to this vlog. I'm looking forward to this bolognese, to be honest. Um, so I'm actually gonna get started on that now, and then I'll decide on a book and get you reading. All right, everyone, sitting down. Matilda is amped. Um, so I'm not sitting down. I'm about to start making my bolognese sauce, which I'm pretty excited about, which is the meat, so ignore that. But I'm gonna cut up this and an onion and some garlic, so let's get chopping. Right, been chopping up a storm. Got my onion, carrot, and celery in here. Um, and now I'm gonna start the combination process. This is a new recipe for me. Turns out good. I'll link it below. But it's pretty straightforward. So anyway, gonna start cooking. Cooking down the onions, carrots, and celery. Something about just this part of cooking that always smells the best. So, doing this, and then I'll add the meat, and then the sauce construction will begin. And look at 
that. Everything is combined and now I'm just gonna let this simmer. I have some garlic bread here which I'm going to like, put in the oven. And then I'm gonna make noodles and some zucchini because I like to hide vegetables in my pasta dishes. Um, and then dinner will be done. And then it's time for hometown cha 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 and reading. Now look at that. Then I also have my noodles here. Time to assemble and go enjoy my Great British Bake Off episode. And doesn't that look good? Here, Millie. Got myself two little vanilla ice cream mochis. There's Matilda. Gonna watch about half of an episode of Hometown Cha Cha Cha. Then I'm gonna finally start my reading for the night. I got distracted by my bolognese and ice cream, but I've also decided I think I'm gonna start with the X Hex and then Paybacks the Witch. But, you know, I think that's the vibe I'm feeling. Half an episode of Hometown Cha 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 and a minor Tic Tac hole later, we're about to start the X Hex. I'm probably gonna read just until I fall asleep tonight and I'll check in with you guys in the morning. But I think this book is only just about 300 pages, so I'm thinking this will be a quick read. Good morning, everyone. Having a cozy morning full of reading and ambiance. Look, it's a gloomy day out. I have my Netflix fireplace on, which is just so clutch. And then I've actually started reading. I'm on chapter seven, which is just about 60 pages that I was able to read last night. I legitimately feel like I'm gonna be able to read this entire thing today. It's, you know, really cute, entertaining, fun, a little cheesy so far, exactly what I was hoping for in terms of like a spooky romance. And I always read these books so quickly. So that's my plan this morning to read, drink my coffee, and enjoy a fake fireplace. Hi friends, I wanted to do a quick check-in before I went and got ready for the day. I've read about a third of this book, just past the 100 page mark, and it's so cute so far. The general setup and premise of this story is that our main character, Vivi, and our other main character, Rise, were dating like when they're like 19 and 20, nine years prior. And then they had like a tragic breakup, lots of drama and angst. And the night of their breakup, Vivi um, basically accidentally cursed him. Essentially her and her cousin were just kind of uh, wallowing in her breakup, drinking, having fun, whatever. And they said a bunch of silly things and they weren't actually trying to curse him but they did and this curse hasn't been activated until rise nine years later has returned to the small town that vivi and her cousin live um which is very much like stars hollow vibes it's cute there's a halloween festival going on and rise is in town because he needs to like recharge the ley lines because his family has like a history in this town even though he lives in wales so he has a you know a welsh accent we love to see it um but with this curse when he tries to recharge the ley line things begin to go wrong in town and obviously there's also a lot of tension between vivi and rise because they're both like the one that got away for each other they've both dated and done a lot of things since they broke up since the the summer they had nine years prior but you know they can't stop thinking about each other and now that they're back in each other's life the tension between them is palpable and on top of that the curse is a little wild so they're now forced to kind of have to work together to save the town and likely reverse the curse on rise so it's definitely really playful and fun i really like that it involves kind of a hijinks element to the plot it's not just like the angst of their relationship or some sort of like family drama that's kind of driving the drama forward it's instead like haunted items in stores and just like falling statues and stuff like that it kind of just makes it you know still intense and engaging but very very playful another thing about this book is that it's dual perspective which i always think is a smart idea when it comes to romance stories especially ones that aren't very long because i feel like you just quickly kind of get settled in our two main characters perspectives rise and vivi and you know you kind of get to see into their thoughts and feelings and what they think about each other and basically they're clearly obsessed with each other especially rise which is just entertaining and funny all around um i've already read 100 pages it's super cute so far i love the halloween atmosphere i love the magical atmosphere with everyone being witches kind of living in this small town and trying to you know not reveal themselves to the general public it's just got a good halloween vibe like is it blowing my mind no am i like obsessed with everyone and everything probably not but is it dang cute and it's basically like a lifetime movie in a book 
yes so definitely plan to read more of this today i honestly think i'm going to try to finish it today i don't feel like that'll be an issue at all but i'm now going to get dressed for the day and start doing some work and then i'll try to do more reading later but so far it's so cute i also really like vivi's family her aunt and her cousin are really goofy and i think they provide a lot of comedic moments and Vivi herself I like uh, too. I feel like she has like a very strong personality. She's like sticking out for herself and she's like, look, so I might have accidentally cursed you. Let's try to figure this out. Anyway, good morning. Reading has been successful so far. It's time to get ready to face the day. Up and Adam and dressed, embracing this cooler, gloomier weather and I'm wearing this flannel dress. I actually like it because it's made out of flannel. It's super soft and like really swingy, which I think is cute. So, and then I just layered a turtleneck on underneath it for some additional fall vibes. Just been working away. I'm about to make lunch, but a very exciting delivery came and I want to show you guys. So, are you ready for it? My reading chair arrived. Look at her. She's a big, cozy, velvet monstrosity. And I'm having her in the middle of my room right now as kind of like a focal point. I might film from here too. And again, in general, I just like my desk against the wall. But I might rearrange, put this over there and this here. But for now, here she is. Big, cozy, mustard, velvet chair. Big fan of her in this household. I need to get a, like a little side table, finish up a few other things in here, but for the most part, this room has really come together. So I'm pleased. All right, and here we go. Got our deli meats, arugula, mayo mustard, some olive oil. I also like putting oregano on my sandwiches, but I think I'm gonna also broil mine. So it's a snap and it's gonna be tasty. LOL. Uh Left it in there a little too long, but we'll see if we can salvage it. <laughs> just cut off some of the burnt bits, good as new. Now I'm just gonna throw my condiments on and enjoy. I'm gonna go sit down on the couch and do some reading. I have some maple pecan coffee, which is just my favorite right now. Um, and I, 30 saying I'm gonna do some reading. Um, I'm really enjoying this book. Um, I'm also just enjoying how quickly I'm reading it. I think it just contrasts how long it took me to read the Wheel of Time, which I really enjoyed. It's just, I've been reading really long fantasy books recently and a romance is just like so breezy. I feel like I pick it up and I'm like, oh, I'm done, I'm done. I'm gonna read another book now. So I'm planning on finishing it today. I'm over halfway through now and I'm gonna sit down and probably read like 50 pages in like 30 minutes so fast. Um, and then finish it tonight once I finish up working and then start my second book of this vlog but so far it's really cute i love the witch element of it a part of the story too is that our main character vivi didn't grow up knowing that she's a witch so in some ways like she feels very removed from witch culture and in some aspects it really intimidates her and so rise and also just this conundrum of trying to break this hex is kind of introducing her to her magic more which I like. I love this little dash of fantasy we're having in here. So anyway, enjoy my coffee, read, and that's it. Alrighty, I'm officially in pajamas and I'm about to watch uh, an episode of GBBO, Great British Bake Off. Um, but I only have about 70, 60 pages left of this book. It's reading very quickly. It's also getting very spicy, so there's that as well. Um, I definitely plan to read this tonight and once I do, I'll give like a comprehensive review. I don't really have anything new to say. It's not like, you know, a bunch of stuff is happening in this book. So once I finish, I will let you know my thoughts. But I have read 230 pages and uh, I see no issue finishing this book tonight. I'm not gonna reheat dinner. Plus side of making so much bolognese is that you have it for forever. So we're gonna eat that tonight. I also froze half of it, so future me is gonna really appreciate that. So I'm gonna start that process, make some noodles, cozy up with Matilda, watch a Great British Baking Show. I mean, what more could you want? Turn on my uh, fall decor, it's gonna get cozy. Round two of pasta. Pasta prima, baby. <laughs> and hometown cha-cha-cha. <coughs> I love this show, I never want it to end. Hello, Clay and I just spent 
uh, a good chunk of time. We watched two episodes of Hometown Cha Cha Cha, which equates to about three hours of TV. And oh my gosh, I could spend the rest of my life watching that show. It's on Netflix. Please just give it a try. It's so heartwarming and wholesome. It's set in a small town. It's romantic, but just sweet. <sighs> I could talk about it all day. But speaking of sweet and romantic, I guess, I am going to now sit down and finish the X Hex. I'm gonna read the last like 65 pages of this, I wanna say, um, and wrap up, I know I've already said that in previous clips, wrap up my thoughts and feelings for this book. It's a little later than I was expecting because again, I watched three hours of Hometown Cha Cha Cha, uh, but no regrets there because it was fantastic. But now I'm gonna get back to this. I love a small town setting, clearly, so cheers, good night. I'll check you, I'll check it back in with you in the morning and I'll give you a review of this. But anyway, I'm gonna read now. I'll see you in the morning. Hello world, good morning. I have my coffee here, it needs to be charged, but I wanted to pop in and quickly wrap up the X Hex, which I finished last night, as I said, I was gonna be able to accomplish. That means I've also read 308 pages. So not a bad start so far. So honestly, I enjoyed this book. I wouldn't say it was mind blowing in any capacity. I feel like the small town witchy vibes really provided a great ambiance and backdrop for the fall season if you're looking for kind of a spicier, cute, simple, not too high stakes like romance story this could be a good one to check out was it cheesy at times yes was i like blown away by the characters and their storylines no but it was light and breezy and generally speaking entertaining and overall i did really appreciate that there was kind of a separate plot line to the romance which had more to do with kind of the ley lines and the magic of the town I found that to be really cute and entertaining um but yeah i would say this was like a solid three stars, 2.75 stars in the romance department. It was cute, it was fun, and I had a good time reading it. I read it in like a day. So it's definitely an easy read. So that is the X Hex. And now I'm about to pick up Payback's A Witch, which has a pretty similar premise, like idea and setup. But it basically follows a girl who's coming back to her magical small town, <laughs> similar to the X Hex. I guess she already lived there, but she is returning after five or six years away. And with her leaving this town, she's kind of lost her magical abilities and her reasons for leaving are complicated, but one of them has to do with a very messy breakup. She comes back to participate in a time-honored tradition, kind of magical competition between the founding families in town to who's gonna like kind of control things sort of but also part of her return is wanting to get i guess revenge on her ex-boyfriend and she does that with a girl named talia and then i think they get closer together throughout the story as well i'm just hoping for more witchy small town vibes which i do feel like this is going to deliver and i'm also really intrigued by this sort of magical competition component again another sort of fantastical Halloween-y subplot line that will drive the plot forward that isn't really anything to do with the romance, which I think is kind of fun, especially for a Halloween read. So I'm gonna pick this up now and finish it in the next couple days. I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. It's 339 pages, and then I'll have completed both of these spooky Halloween romances. Also thrilled to be in a flannel. I'm just wearing like one of those little crop tops and a flannel. Hopefully I go on a walk later. I'm feeling up to it. Matilda has not left this chair basically since I got it. She's claimed it for her own, which to be fair, I bought it for you, Matilda, so you could sit and stare at me while I work. So I hope you enjoy your nice new reading chair. Lunch is done. I whipped up a quick little Caesar salad. I'm gonna sit over there and watch some Survivor, I think, whilst I eat. Finished up work, put the fireplace on, and I'm gonna sit down and do a bit more reading. I actually started this book. I think I'm on page like 35 or something. And uh, so far, so good. It's got that classic small town Halloween setting, which I definitely was looking for. So we shall see how this one plays out. I hope it has a bit more drama, if you know what I mean. And we're off to run a very important errand. I'll show you once we get there. And we're here. 
I ran out of uh, fall candles, so we're here to restock. Isn't that right, Clay? Yeah. It's a wonderland of fall scents. Great British Bake Off is on. I have one of our new candles we picked up. Lit, it's leaves. And now I'm actually about to start dinner. I'm making red beans and rice um, in the instant pot tonight. Hold this guy out in a minute. Um, so let's just see how it goes. I've been soaking my beans for like 10 hours. Um, this is my first time making this, so wish me luck, but I'm got, I've gotta get to chop it. There's lots of things to chop. So much chopping has taken place, and I've also started the sauteing process, so we are making some progress on this dinner. And now I'm just letting it do its thing. I gotta cook the rice, and then it's about enjoying. Hi, so while that's cooking, I thought I would do some reading and also take a minute to talk about the book, as I have read over 50 pages. If I look like I've been crying, the answer is I have been. The Onion demolished me this time around. But so far, Payback a Witch has definitely captured my attention. It has a very similar setup-ish, I guess setting would be more accurate, to the X-Hex. Um, and that it basically follows Emmy who grew up in a small town that has a very rich magical history. But she left nine years ago after a bad breakup. And she basically, with this decision, also is kind of removing herself from magic. Again, she's come home to participate in this magical competition, which I'm really looking forward to kind of unfolding a bit more. Basically, upon her arrival, she meets up with her old best friend, as well as someone she knew from high school that also got their hearts broken by the same guy, and now they're going to work together for some revenge. Um, so, the book so far is definitely cute. I love the setting, and I do feel like we're going to go on a bit of a journey with Emmy, because she clearly has been kind of running from her hometown, and her magic and stuff, so I'm hoping that's definitely something that she encounters. I do have to suspend my disbelief a little bit. I mean, I feel like I always have to suspend my disbelief when it comes to romances, but I guess for like the motivation, her friend and Talia just recently got their heart broken by this guy, and don't get me wrong, he's a total jerk, so like, you know. I'm not saying they shouldn't get revenge on him, but she dated him nine years ago for like four months. And granted, he was like a big motivating factor for her leaving her, her hometown, but it's definitely not like a fresh heartbreak. And she almost had a moment of being like mad at her friend for dating him like recently. But I'm like, you were like, this was nine years ago and it was so short and people didn't even know about it because he had, you know, told her to keep it secret and stuff. Anyway, so that is like a bit of like a stretch to me, um, but you know, I don't really care because I love revenge and I'm happy there's kind of this coven of witches gonna be doing all sorts of things to, you know, enact their revenge. The small town setting is cute. I like that it's kind of focused on like different families because of their like long history in this place. They're kind of known for different things. They have different magical specialties and specifically like Emmy's family, the Harlows are known for being like the weakest of the magical families in town. So that's part of also, I think something she is really self-conscious about and in part like the people treating her kind of that she's inferior because of her magical heritage is also something that she struggled with a lot in her life and I think something that she's going to confront especially in this competition. But so far it's cute, Emmy's likable, the banter is there. As long as I suspend my disbelief for the motivations for everyone for this curse then we're good because I'm looking forward to this guy getting cursed because you know 
I'm here for it basically. But yeah, I've read 50 pages. I'm looking forward to seeing the relationship and the banter between Emmy and Talia kind of heat up. I really like them. I also like that they have a bit of a shared history. They weren't close, but they knew each other already. So they do have a bit of a connection there, which they can build off of. Yes, so far it's cute. Love a queer witchy romance. So here we are. I'm gonna read more tonight, post dinner. Well, actually right now while I wait for that to pressure cook, but just wanted to give you some initial thoughts and feelings. And dinner is ready to go. Episode 10 of Hometown Sha 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 is complete. I also must say dinner was really tasty. I will link the recipe I used down below. It's just an Instant Pot recipe. It uh, turned out really well. But I don't know if you guys can hear, it is absolutely pouring outside. I think it's gonna thunderstorm all night. So perfect ambiance for a witchy Halloween read. So I'm gonna read more of this tonight. I am page, I'm on chapter five, page 52. So I don't know, I'm gonna try to read at least 100 or so pages before I go to sleep and then wrap this guy up tomorrow. But again, so far I am liking it and I'm looking forward to there being more magic and more hijinks amongst these women because I am a fan. Ooh, thunder. So Matilda and I are gonna hang out and enjoy the rain now, so goodbye. It is gloomy this morning and cooler because of the rain, so I opted to wear a sweater thought I would take advantage. I also did read to page 150 of this last night I plan to read more during lunch, but for now I do have to get some work done but I did want to show off my my sweater because It's sort of sweater weather today Not even artificially like I could kind of wear this outside. I'd be pretty sweaty, but I could make it work yesterday's dinner is today's lunch Love a leftover moment. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm actually about to sit down and do some reading, but I wanted to do a reading check-in of Payback's a Witch as I have passed 150 page mark, as I already mentioned. And this book is definitely cute. Going in, you know, obviously I was expecting kind of a romance with witchy atmosphere, but this book does honestly have a lot of heart. Um, first and foremost, I'm really enjoying the magic. The X-Hex obviously also had magic, but I would say like the magical component of this story is a little more in depth. Like obviously it's not like a fantasy novel with like a magic system, but there, it's definitely like explored and explained and more than just kind of a backdrop. Like it's pretty central to the plot and it's just cool like many of the scenes include magic in some sort of capacity and again because this is a town with like different families um each family kind of has a magical specialty which is really neat and like kind of watching the characters show off their magic is cool to be honest um from a heartfelt point of view like obviously we have a romance this story is from emmy's point of view and you see kind of the build-up between her and Talia, but it's also not just a romance. Like a large part of the story for me in my perspective is definitely Emmy kind of coming to terms with her magic in her hometown. Obviously she left nine years ago to make her own life and kind of like drew a very large line for herself and like what she grew up with. And she's like reconnecting with her family again, her magic and kind of looking at everything with new eyes and I guess being more open and accepting of her like hometown in a way that she hasn't been for many years. And also with that, like seeing her forge or reforge connections with like her parents is really nice. And with her best friend, Lyndon, like her childhood best friend. Um, I really appreciate those scenes and it feels very like real like it's not just like a, a side character that's just coming in with like a quick little snarky line and then they leave like it really feels like a well written like heartwarming scene between these different characters in this town which is something i appreciate and then obviously wrapped up in all of that the magical competition has started and it's cool i also love emmy's like piece in the competition because it has to do with her family's magic which is more with like record keeping so she's more like the proctor and them trying to get their revenge it's definitely like uh, what is that movie like john tucker must die vibes but like very mature like the women Lyndon, talia and emmy are like close and they're just trying to you know take down this boy which yes sure he broke all their hearts but it's also like more than that it's like their family has an unfair advantage in the town 
and have had that for a long time so they're kind of like trying to flip the power balance if you will but yeah i'm really enjoying this i'm looking forward to the relationship between tally and emmy to be explored more and more i'm looking forward to see more of emmy's growth too but the magic is cute and i love the fall vibes of this it's just charming and i'm liking it a lot so i'm actually gonna sit down and do more reading right now past the 200 page mark but just wanted to give you some thoughts and feelings with me being about halfway through. I have read 250 pages and I think that means I have about 100 pages left. It also means I've read about 550 pages for this vlog. Um, I've decided I have earned some cookies, so I'm gonna make some 4.30 p.m. pre-dinner chocolate chip cookies, you know? Book is going well. I'll obviously do like a final wrap up once I finish, but it's cute. Again, I love the magic. It's definitely had a few cheesy moments. Like there was one moment about like tattoos that made me, like one of the characters has a tattoo of her college mascot. Like why? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna make some cookies now and then I'll get back to reading. Clay and I do have a bit of a date night tonight. So we're going out for dinner. So that should be fun. Um, but I have no, I feel like I'm gonna have no issues finishing the book, 100 pages, easy peasy. So that's that. Oh, Matilda's being so dramatic right now. Millie, you feeling all right? You doing good? Yeah? Guys, I forgot to vlog the finished cookies. I just ate them all, but here are the crumbs, I guess. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. About to head out. Classic short sleeve cotton dress with cardigan combo in case it's actually hotter than I thought or colder than I thought. The key is to layer. Awesome. Ending the night with some hometown cha cha cha. Did for a business professional on this. Uh, Friday afternoon, I've actually been working uh, this morning and also watching BTS in the Soup season two, episode one. So that really took up a lot of my free time. Um, but now I'm gonna quickly put together lunch and then I'm going to sit down right there and finish my book. Cause I only have a hundred pages left. And hello Millie. And it's gonna be great. It's a good time. It's a fast read. Happy Friday. Let's wrap this up. End of the sandwiches are done. Hi, I've put a sweater on. Sometimes I have to change like multiple times a day depending on what I'm doing. But I am now gonna sit down and finish Pre-Max a Witch. I also heated up a fresh cup of coffee so we're good there and I'm gonna put my cozy fireplace on. So it's a win-win-win all around. I'm gonna end off the romance reading vlog on a high as we work through the end of this book. So. Cheers, I'll let you know uh, when I finish and I'll give you guys my final thoughts and feelings. Hello friends and welcome to the end of the vlog many days later. I completely, completely forgot to uh, wrap this vlog up. Good news is I finished both books, The X Hex, which I have talked about in depth and gave a star rating to, but I also finished, finished Payback a Witch, which I also really enjoyed and I have to say, it really did provide a lot of the character growth, the steamy romance, and just the wonderful magical ambiance, which was truly everything I wanted, which also excites me as it seems like this is the first book to a new series. So we're gonna get more books set in this town following other favorite characters. I really hope we get a book following Emmy's best friend, Lyndon, because she personally was my favorite character in this entire book. But overall, I thought this book was fun. I do feel like it had a bit more like emotional stakes to it, which I overall appreciated. There were definitely a few moments that I had to suspend my disbelief in terms of like plot or like something was really, really cheesy. But I did really appreciate the relationship and the romance between Emmy and Talia, the friendship, the family dynamic. I do feel like there was a lot of development there that I thought was really charming to read. So. All in all, over the course of this vlog, I did read like 650-ish pages, um, which I personally think is pretty good for a reading week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with another one soon. Goodbye.